And right now, the start of the convention is just a couple of hours away. The finishing touches are being put on the Pepsi Center. And, of course, the delegates are coming into town. And for that part of our coverage, we turn to John Romero now, who spent much of his day with the delegates as they sort of got ready. Pre-convention jitters were getting out of the way. And, John, tell us, what were these delegates doing on this day before? Whatever they wanted to, Leland. Some delegates did a walkthrough. Some delegates simply party down. It was a day with so much anticipation, but very few scheduled events here at the convention center, at the Pepsi Center, rather. A lot of delegates just took in the sights and sounds. Some put the finishing touches on the convention program, including the music. Strike up the band. The Democratic National Convention is underway. Sort of. It was breathtaking. It was outstanding. I mean, it, it's just so inspiring and gorgeous. It was the big day before the big day. State delegations were on the Pepsi Center floor for a full dress rehearsal, making sure the computers work where they'll actually officially enter their votes. Convention staff checked the mics, and the Alaska delegation checked their nighttime plans. There's like a, a thousand different organizations holding a thousand different parties, and Everybody picks their own little net. More socialized and networking. Uh, the, for the most part, today has just been a free day for them. But nobody's party was bigger than Steve Farber's, the lawyer who helped raise all the money for the DNC. It takes a lot to create the Broncos' excitement. I think we're, we've created that in our city. One congresswoman, the mayor of Los Angeles, one former Republican governor, Colorado's current governor, Bill Ritter, and media mogul, Ted Turner. It's fantastic for the city, and, and really because we're on a national, and I would say an international showcase. So Denverites should revel in this. It was the kind of atmosphere where everybody felt like a celebrity today at the Pepsi Center. On a day when most folks reached for their cameras, others had the cameras find them. I'm not sure there is a number one storyline, but if there is a number one storyline, it is um, a major American political party for the first time is nominating someone of African-American heritage. A day that felt like a major event, giving some indication of how big it will seem when the actual convention really starts. You know you're throwing a good party when the other party's former governor comes to your party. Now, one thing that did get stretched today, they were going to do a walkthrough of Invesco Field. That actually got pushed back because of time considerations. Unclear the delegates will actually get their Invesco walkthrough before Thursday. And most importantly, we're just glad, John, that you made it back from that party in time. It sounds like it was a good time. I had to tear myself away. <laughs> we're glad you did. And John Romero and I will be on the floor of the Pepsi Center for the next week. There is our